Midjourney costs $10 per month. ChatGPT costs $20 a month, which can get quite expensive. But luckily, I'll show you seven image generators you can use for free. I'll show you the quality of the images that they generate, the extra features they have included, and how free is it really? So by the end of this video, you can find your new favorite AI image generator. Number one, seaart.ai. This may be one of the easiest one for you to use to create a variety of different images completely for free. The best part about seaart compared to other AI image generation tools is that you can click on a picture that you like and then you can click on try and now you're in the studio to make images. We got the exact same prompt from before and if we just click on generate and you get almost the exact same picture. The cool thing about SeaArt is that they use open sourced models. So you can click here and you can use a bunch of different ones. So we could go Epic Realism and we can add a LoRa, which is essentially a fine tuning step. So you can create exactly the image that you want to create. You can change the image quality, image mode, image size, and even toggle on this restore faces to get even better faces. But how free is it really? Well, the generation that we just did with two images cost four credits and we get 200 right now. As you can see, this is refreshed and reset daily, which means that you can actually generate a bunch of images. It also includes these advanced tools like image to image or control net, as well as these tools like face swap and upscale. Number two, Playground AI. Much like SeaArt, they have the gallery right here on the front page that enables you to create a bunch of cool images. Similarly to SeaArt, you can click on the image and you can either copy the prompt, which has a prompt and a negative prompt, or you can just click on the remix. It brings us into the generation studio where you can see the filter that they used, Niji, which is an anime type style. You can see all the other styles that they have here as well. What makes Playground AI different is that you can change from board to canvas. And I really like the canvas. However, let me show you board first. Let's just apply a filter like ProtoVision, give it a prompt. And then you can also have exclude from image. You can do image to image, but I'm just gonna do text to image now. This one is using the model Stable Diffusion XL. And here you can see the first generation. Now, the reason that I like the canvas the most is when I click on it, you can now see that we open in this grid flow. I can just write a prompt and then I can actually select how many images I want. I'm gonna select four, but you can go all the way up to 16 if you have the pro version, click on generate. And now you can see the first images. Now you can move it around just like it's a reference image and you can even delete the ones you don't like. And now you can actually just click on this image and select the thing in the top image to image and we can generate again and we get more iterations of the same image. So now you can just move them around the canvas, keep generating images all in this space. And if you're wondering how free is it, you can actually create 500 images per day and use the images commercially. There is no watermark or anything. The main shortcoming of Playground AI is the customization. As you can see right out of the box using Stable Diffusion with some of these filters, the face can sometimes be a little bit wonky. So it takes a little bit more prompting and customization to get exactly what you're looking for. Number three, Bing Image Creator. If you're struggling to make content, this AI tool can help you. It's called contents.com and it can generate content 10 times faster. Just click on the start free trial. Now that I'm on the inside, I'm gonna use the AI chat to get some good creative ideas. Here's the prompt, pause the video if you want. I asked it for survival niche, best tents for winter camping, such a good SEO keyword, or even best water filters for emergency preparedness. This is really good. I'm gonna do the best backpacks for extended hiking trips. The next step, I'm gonna use the SEO article template, put my keyboard, in there. Let's make it a thousand words and click on generate article. It just gave me the entire outline and I'm just going to click on confirm paragraphs and the entire article is written. Now we can click on AI art, click on text to image and we can generate some images for the article. Let's generate the image. We got this image and this beautiful image. Then we have AI translation into all these different languages so you can reach a bigger audience. So click the link in the description down below to check out content 
contentstocks.com to create content 10 times faster. Thank you so much to contents.com for sponsoring this section of the video. Number three, Bing Image Creator powered by Dolly 3. The big win here is that they actually use Dolly 3, which is a great image generator. They'll probably give you better images right off the bat. For example, if I prompted Viking woman with an ax at the top of the mountain, this is the result that we're getting. Let's refine the prompt. And here we got the second result, which does not look bad right off the bat. When I opened my account, I think I had a hundred boosts and each image or four images that I generate uses one of these boosts. So by making these two prompts, I just used two boosts from their website. It says you'll begin with 25 boosts upon signing up and continue to receive up to 15 boosts weekly. Another con of the Bing image generator is that you can't actually do image to image or if I like this content here, I can't click like make another one for me. I just have to prompt. So that's not that good. The reason I love Dolly 3 inside of ChatGPT is that you can actually say make it brighter or make it more colorful. You can't actually do that here. So alternatively, you can always go to Bing.com and click on the chat. Here you can actually create an image that uses the same method and you can also add, can you make it brighter? And then it will actually make them brighter. So this is the best way to get Dolly 3 for free. Number four, Adobe Firefly. Obviously Adobe is huge into image generation as well as they're adding generative fill in Photoshop, but to generate images for free, you can just click on the text to image generation and you'll step inside of a little gallery where you can take a look at what other people have done. <laughs> what? That's the cutest thing ever. And if I click on it, you can see we actually end up in the generations that they have done as well as the prompt and the style that they've used. They just added a new Firefly image to beta and you can select between the model version two or one. We can select the aspect ratio, select content type photo or art with a visual intensity. You can also toggle this one auto style strength. We can match the style of an image we already have. Add some of these effects. So you can see layered paper, synth wave, painting and add color, lighting, composition. There's some advanced settings as well, like exclude from image. Let's try the layered paper and click on generate. And there you have it. As you can see, the image quality is very good in Firefly, as well as you can use generative fill, text effects, generative recolor, 3D to image and text to vector. Now, how free is it? You can see I have 24 generative credits left and you can see that you use one credit while doing any of these tasks. It says on their website that if you have a free plan, you'll receive a plan specific number of monthly generative AI creations. So what happens if I use all my generative credits? Well, if you use the free creative plan, you actually need to subscribe to a new paid plan to continue creating Firefight image. And they say if you are on a plan, you don't actually have any limits right now. So yes, Firefly is great. However, for free, not my favorite. Number five, Leonardo.ai. This may be the most popular AI image generator. They just upgraded to Alchemy V2. Here is how it looks like on the inside. You can see the featured models in the top here, as well as if you go to the right, you can see some RPG models that look absolutely Awesome. The same with recent creations. You can always scroll down and see what other people have made here as well. And people are liking the images. Similarly to the other ones, when you click on an image, you can see the prompt here. You can see the pipeline and the model. And you also get these related images that look similar. Now there's three things you can do. You can either do image to image. You can remix this with almost everything. Just generate with this model. Now I'm just going to click on remix. And as you can see, we get the entire prompt here as well as the model and all the settings. Now I actually want to change into the Alchemy V2 that just launched four images and I'll click on generate. You see this will use 20 tokens and I started with 150. You can see that this resets in 17 hours and it may take up to an hour to update your tokens. Here were the images that we created and we actually got like a non safe for work one. And you can see that the images are just stunning. So 
super high quality, very detailed, very cool style, easy to make. So you can see why a lot of people go to Leonardo. For me, it has a little bit too little credits for the free plan. You can do like if you just do two images or one image, it takes less credits. But still, you will be able to only do about seven per day. So if you only generate a few iterations every single time, this might be a good fit for you. Number six, Blue Willow. Here you can see that you can try the AI artwork generator for free. Write your prompt here and generate. Now you can see we're on the inside and here you can see the image. I got this image by using the Blue Willow V4 model and I'm not that happy with the result. Let's try another prompt and you see that this will cost 0.99 credits and we only started with 10 credits. Here you can see the image it generated and I'm surprised. Last time I checked Blue Willow was a really good software and now it's at the bottom of the list. It's funny that you can pay to use Dolly too. No way. <laughs> Number seven, dreamstudio.ai by Stability AI. So if you don't know who Stability AI is, is the creators of Stable Diffusion, the model that a lot of the other ones that we just looked at is using. So they've tried to make this tool to make it a lot easier for you. I'm gonna click on get started. Now that I'm on the inside, you can see the basics of it. Style, you can choose between all of these different styles. Let's try pixel art this time. You prompt it and a negative prompt. You can also upload an image to create variations settings to create the resolution different, some advanced settings like prompt strength and seed, and then we click on dream. Here are the generations right off the bat using the SDXL V1. Let's try the anime style. I really like how this one turned out. Let's try photographic as well. And here are the results. This one turned out really well. As you can see, the dude is looking sharp, but I don't know what's happening down here. The price is 7.2 credits per dream. I started with 120. On their website, it says all new users are granted 25 free credits upon creating an account. And once they are depleted, they have to buy additional credits. And you can see $10 will give you 1000 credits, which can give you about 5000 images, which is fair. But if you want it free forever, do one of those that refills themselves every day, which is technically free forever. Which one do you want to sign up with? Comment down below. I've also included links to all of them, so you can just click the description. Don't forget to check out our sponsor in the description below. And if you want to see me rank more AI tools, click the video on the screen now, and I'll see you there.